Simon Gold is an award-winning chef, restaurateur and food personality. His latest restaurant, Giraffe, won Best New Restaurant 2017. Simon is also the inventor of the world's first ketchup, 100% sweetened only by veggies. Kia ora noe, hoa. good to see you again. Uh, thanks for having me. Look at it's you! Good to be back. And kai te tino angi tu koutou, ne? It looks like you're on fire, so you've got giraffe going so well and new products. It's all happening, Yeah, I've got it? the new ketchup out there, which is exciting and a healthier alternative for people. But we're going to cook some prawns. And I reckon that prawns are something that can, you can just have in the freezer. And it's like that secret weapon. People turn up, we think we want to go a little bit fancy tonight. So we are going to do prawns and a spicy rum sauce. Ah. With coriander and some tomato and some ginger and a little bit of Tabasco. And then you can leave the Tabasco out if you don't like that heat. Ka tene kai, what have we got over here? Well, everybody in New Zealand loves a burger, right? And I personally love it with beetroot, but we're changing the beetroot out today and we're putting a smoked cheese in there. And of course, we're throwing a bit of my ketchup on because every Kiwi loves ketchup. Te kuda huna. So we need to kind of get our heads around this though, don't we? Because if they're knowing what they were and knew it they roto, we have lots of sugar in these sort of sauces and some of our favourites and we don't even know it. Yeah, there's sugar in lots of things that, and you just don't know. I went through a big thing of I need to lose some weight, got really unhealthy. It's a tricky when you did it. Yeah, well, I was still trying, but then I went on a mission. Can you make a ketchup where we don't put any white sugar in there, don't put any alcohol sugars in? So basically, three years later, we invented a way to sweeten by just using 100% vegetables. So it's a healthier alternative, but it tastes just like ketchup, so the kids love it. So I'm pretty proud about it, and it's invented in little old New Zealand and made in Pukekohe. Yeah, kare tu atu. That's the perfect thing. So it looks like that's going to be the compliment. Kati mata ki ngā So we're going to start with the prawns, are we? Here we go. So these are prawns that we've got from the supermarket. They've got head on. They've got all the shell on. So. I reckon we're going to cut them in half. So there we go. And you can even leave them so they're sort of kind of together like that. Do you see what I mean? Oh, aye. OK. You know? And then see this little tube here? We can pull that out. There we go. There we go. So those are ready, and we can just set those aside. Now we need to just prepare things for the sauce. So this is a shallot, right? So we want to finely chop it up, and then we're just going to roll it like that. The only other thing we've really got to do is make some tomato concave, which is basically just the tomato. If we just come down here, and what we want to do is get rid of all the seeds, and then you come along here. So you're just cutting it into little, little tiny squares, really. So there we go. We've got a nice pile there. And then I'm going to take the ginger, and I'm just going to put that on top of the onion. Ah. We've got a lime here as well, so I'm figuring, well, let's use the lime, and I love putting wedges of things into a sauce, especially citrus, so that's good there. Can you just chop up the leaves on that or just roughly chop them up? While you're doing that, I'm going to get this pan going on over here and I'm going to get some heat going. There we go. And you hear the little sizzling action going there, so let's get the whole lot in there and we'll get the heat up and we'll get those cooking. Over here, we're going to start working on the sauce. And the first thing I'll be putting in is the onions and the ginger. And I want to just cook those down until they're soft. And now this dish will be great with or without the rum, but it will definitely be a lot better with the rum. Now, we're going to stand back a little bit and, you know, might say 60 mils, but if 80 mils goes in, that's just OK. And Flames going on there. Wow. There we go. Mahawika in the house. Okay, ka maharaharo. So I would be worried about that. So what are your tips there? Just to stand back. Stand back. Go. Know that it's going to come after a couple of seconds. Next. Yeah. So now we're going to get a little bit of rum in here, just a little bit of rum in there, and we're going to get some fish stock in. Now we'll turn the heat up, and we'll get get it really. Cranking. We can put our tomato in. So I get some of that green tomato sauce from there. That's plenty. 
Here's the lime. Squeeze in. Drop the wedge in. Ah. And now we need a little bit of layer parents in there. Uh -huh. Just a little bit. Don't go too crazy with the layer parents. Okay, so well, we're going to get a little, little bit of heat in there, right? I'm going to switch it over to this high heat. Because this next little trick is to follow me over here. Uh -huh. And I'm going to go to the highest heat that we can. Now watch. I'm going to put the soft butter in knobs in there. Look, I'm not stirring it. The sauce is really bubbling. Now you can grab the coriander. Aye. Now we just shuffle it like that. Aye. Now you throw the herbs in. And you can see now it's turned into that creamy sauce, isn't it? See how it's literally gone creamy just as we shook it? Then we pour that on the prawns. Now that's going to infuse with the rum. Atahuehua, that looks amazing. So how do you like to serve this dish up? I like to give everybody a little bowl so they've got their own sauce, their own things. You could put it on a platter in the middle of the table, but you and I are going to have a bowl each right now. Yes! Come on. Kapaka miharutie o hoa. So this is a showstopper when it comes to a barbecue, isn't it? I reckon it's a great way to start and um, if we follow up with a good kiwi burger, I think um, it really will be a happy <laughs> Thursday. Mm. Mm. Pretty good flavours going on there, huh? Yeah, ha tepe o te tikanga tunukai. So every step of that process just added so many layers of deliciousness. Mm. Um, into that sauce in the bottom. You can taste the rum? Ah, quite a pair. Just thick delicate it, though, isn't it? It's not like you just had a big rum and coke, right? There's no alcohol flavour there. It's just. And that... This would be me. I wouldn't have enough room for a burger, but I'm willing to give it a go. Come on, let's make a burger. At the park in there, so we're on to the burger. The smoked cheese is the X Factor. I'm using smoked provolone, which if you Google search, you'll be able to find it, probably even be able to get it delivered to your home. It's fantastic in cheese toasted sandwiches, it's fantastic in a burger, or just good old cheese. So let's get some onion in there. Some Italian seasoning, whatever Italian seasoning you like, but I'm using my Italian seasoning. Now, fire no one, as you yeah. should. Now, the other magic ingredient I'm going to put in here is some beef stock concentrate. Yeah. And, you know, you really got to get in there. So do you want to cut a couple of buns in half? So I can see eggs as well. So you're very much in the eggs must go in a parky camp, are you? Where do you see eggs? I see eggs there. Or are they for that? No, for that. Oh. I forgot that, didn't I? See now, if we were if we were not true people, we would go and start and film all that again, right? But we make mistakes. What do you Put quick? an egg in there, right? Now we get back in here. There we go. So the egg's going to bind it, which we forgot. I don't make burgers very often. I have to confess. So let's get you turn the gas on. So we've got the oil in there. We'll just drop these guys in. It's going to be pretty yummy. OK, let's get some of that on those. You can do both sides or one side. Oh, uh, it's so beautiful. Sides. I think we should do both. Let's get these in under the grill. How's that looking? Those, they're looking good at about two and a half minutes on one side. Here we go. Now, kwarite. Now, wa hanga katoa. So everything's ready. And how do you like to plate this up? First of all, the cheesy base of the bun goes down, then our lettuce and tomato mayonnaise stack goes on top with our massive big burger patty on top of that, and then some gold's ketchup on top. And then we've got to jab it with a skewer. Yeah, let's, let's see what this baby looks like inside. And you Not go, shot. Come on. Half each. OK. Kia kaha. All right. Oh, look at you go, Simon. And do it. Oh! Mmm, mmm. This patty has everything you'd ever want in life. Oh! Pretty good. And you taste that smokiness of the cheese. Mmm. Lovely ketchup in there. Well, heto tohito, you are actually the master, and I love watching you do your things. Heto inga tifiri katoa, so many great tips, so many amazing flavours. Noreira, koia kayakwe.